We're back. We're streaming at a very low KBPS right now. KBPS. Jesus, I always start my words there. All right, we're also very under leveled right now. Uh, it's 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 only OBS. Like it's not it, it it's it's OBS. It's nothing else. I, I've not been kicked out of GW2. Look at how beautiful the skies and blood tide, man. Ah, so good. All right, okay. We need to focus on the fact that we're gonna die if we get on careful. Poor thing. Potatoes dinner's cancelled. No, no, we're back. We're back. We're back. Something like that's a little annoying because it means the WP2 will have two videos go up. But yeah. All right, come on. We we can make this. We've just got to be careful. I forgot that we, you know, we have serious stuff to deal with now. Got lots of dangerous drakeys that are gonna just one shot us. Can we get some hash browns? Man, hash browns are so good. Hash browns are so good. Hash browns are probably one of my favorite things to eat with a breakfast. Uh, a filling loose breakfast. I don't actually, like, and I, I know America's obsessed Another with bacon. But roll. it's somewhere around there. It's somewhere around the bacon level. Higher than bacon. When I was at college, I used to, um... Uh, they did hash browns at McDonald's and on the way into college in the morning I'd used to like go in there and grab a couple of hash browns and they do them in these little packets. <laughs> it was really good I mean my friends we used to walk in and do that. It was like hash browns in the morning, baby Am I using a new sweet effects preset? Yeah, I'm actually using one of the most mainstream presets out there. It's uh, uh, Sweet subtle and sharp uh, Extended or redone or whatever it is and I'm using the Overwolf Configurator that um, I did a video on recently. It's very impressive tech. I should have gone for that waypoint nearby. Oh, no, I did get one nearby. Hey, thanks. Welcome to the Spud Club, Everon. Most people who, who, who sub to the Spud Club now are like, you know, we're, we're, we're the oldies. Very nice to see a new face. Welcome, welcome. That allows you, in case anybody wants to know, if you, if you sub on Twitch, it gives you a couple of emotes. And then it also gives you um, uh, the ability to post links and stuff in chat. Uh, because uh, basically other, other people can't because we were having bottom issues. And hey, it's nice incentive, right? That's really awesome. Welcome. Very cool. Also, since the annual post-Christmas ad revenue bomb on YouTube... Uh, people subbing on Twitch is actually, you know, it's nice to support me as well. Basically, allows me to move out. Look at the game right now. It looks so good. Look at it. Oh, but the quality on the stream is going to be so crappy for you guys. Oh, man. I have to record this. I'm sorry. I have to. Or not, apparently. No, there we go. Oh. This is with shadows off, by the way. Because shadows are a huge frame sink. This is the kind of thing I want to film when I get the 1440p monitor. Oh, and then it slowly gets poisonous. Oh, it's so good. We actually don't want to stop moving here because a uh, crate underwater will eat us. I think it's actually okay as a uh, as a ranger because our pet can just take a few hits. Let's get this POI while we're going, though. We're on a quest for an ore vista, in case anyone's wondering. This is actually pretty cool. I reckon as a totally new player, I'd be very excited about this, this like, adventure. And the game is the thing that's incentivized me and directed me to do it through the daily system at the moment. Something I think a lot of veterans wouldn't appreciate is quite strong about that. Kind of cool. Not the worst quality, but I can tell it'll be better on your screen. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm a little scared to put up again. No! Oh, all right. The fear. All right, the fear is real. Okay, what do we do? Uh, not go through the water. We'll take a direct cut and we'll go across the beach. Yeah, I need to channel my inner buddy blitz. What I need is boots to be here. Boots, where are you? Oh, Mr. Fluffkins. Dude, welcome back. Been a while since you caught a stream. We're doing zero to hero. Today's daily is an all vista viewer. The way I've determined it's possibly best for our character and our account under this rule set to level is rather than doing hearts, just like unfogging areas of the map and getting sporadic bits of map completion. So we're, we're going for a two for one right now. We're, we're, we're headed south in a dangerous world. A beautiful dangerous world. I kind of want to take a screenshot of my current settings. Capped FPS, reasonable culling, ultra everything except post-process. See, this is the problem. This is why Blood Tide looks really, really good right now. 
Guys, guys, post-processing is kind of cool for certain features, all right? It's kind of cool. Arena have done some nice stuff. However, all right, do not, do not fall into the trap of believing that post-processing improves the quality of the game's visuals at all times, all right? And I'll demonstrate that to you right now. You see how good Blood Tide Coast looks, right? You see how you can make out the definition of some of those uh, mountains in the background there? You get a, a sense of distance. You get a, a, a good, you know, color palette going on here, right? Things are, are, are going well. Let's turn on post-processing. Oh, look! Now they've just blurred the poop out of basically because of their horrendous friggin' um... Uh, amount of stuff that they bundle into post-processing, okay? Uh, they just, they, they, mer they blow away all the detail, all the quality from the skybox and all the nice stuff. Alright? Don't, don't, don't fall into the post-processing trap. There are times for it, times without it. What you want to do, ideally, is turn it off and have something like sweet effects or reshade. Pick up the slack. But, it's, uh... Without using reshade map, which um, somebody made, but nobody in the community ever really took with both hands, so sort of isn't worth anything, sadly. Without using that, it would be basically impossible to make one preset that fits everywhere. Just as ArenaNet failed to make one preset that fits everywhere with their own post-processing. What should I go for next, Kudzu or Juggernaut? Oh, welcome back, Fluffkins. Welcome, four months in a row, man, nice. Uh, go Juggernaut. Juggernaut's a cool legendary because it like affects so much more of your um, skin choices. Ju Kudu's the kind of thing where it's like all the other legendaries, you get it, you're like, wow, I feel really rewarded. This was a cool journey. I'm done now. Nice. You know, it looks fancy. I'm going to show a couple of my close friends, a couple of my close guildies. Hopefully they're proud of me. Let's move on with our lives, right? That's Kudzu. Juggernaut is... Whoa, holy shit, I need to have a look at every single skin in the game now to see how this skin, uh, you know, uh, this chrome effect affects it. Oh, come on. I did dodge roll. I saw he was there. I was going to do a double dodge and then I was going to use uh, the skill for... Oh my god, he rezzed me. What? I need lightning reflex on my bar. Go, evade. This is a dangerous path we've taken. I feel like Frodo Baggins wading into the swamps. All right, the, the, the Risen are okay. We can just easily outkite them. But it's the crate and their ranged attacks that you've got to be really Come careful of. Crate are just pretty deadly. All right, here we go. All right, he wasted the pull on him. That's excellent. Good stuff. Friendly stuff. All right. I have aggro syndrome, so that guy's going to come for me. Oh, it's getting intense. All right. This is very Guild Wars 1 style. Avoid all the mobs, all the patrols. Hopefully that doe doesn't attack me. That guy is obviously looking at me. I'm just going to dodge. Dodge. Whoa, why did I break into that tree there? Okay, good. And we're through. Oh my god. Kiki, thank you, Kiki. Hold on, I, I can't quite read what you what you wrote there. I don't know. I, I do know I know you want to be consistent, but I'd love it if you could do this time slot at least once a week. I, it's just very difficult. This time slot usually I'd much rather be working on other things, unfortunately. Basically, I'm waking up at around this time though. So like what I was doing for the past six months was waking up and streaming wake up stream And now I'm waking up at a different time, but I don't see why I shouldn't just run straight into the stream and do it this other day All right, so we've now got spark fly to get through and then we're done Spark fly is a little scarier, but from the old, actually from the old buddy blitz. I seem to remember that if you just took a beeline, you'd actually be more or less okay. Also, this is pretty crazy. I don't know if you guys appreciate it. This is Norn architecture here. In a swamp. Oh my god, what? I've never heard that before. You're taking your toes in your own hands if you come around here. The vigil can't protect you. Up to the eyeballs in undead. Maybe you should protect them, huh? Protect the vigil. Somebody's got to do it. They don't get help soon. The undead are going to swarm Fort Cadence and slash them all to bits. It won't be pretty. Frog. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Let's keep going. Fractals isn't too bad. It's easy at low levels and kind of fun. I actually agree. Yeah, fractals are very easy at low levels. Fractals got a lot easier after Heart of Thorns, guys. A lot easier. A 50 fractal today is nothing like a 50, 50 fractal of the past. Woke up at 9 p.m. No, no, no. I woke up at 7 p.m. No, no, no. I woke up at 6 I uh, sorted some stuff out eight, and about an hour after I woke up, I started streaming. So does that mean the uptime's at about two hours at the moment? Basically, we're gonna get this all vista, and then we're gonna be done. We only got a couple of levels today, which is a shame. Twenty power. Is that our first amulet too? 
No, it's not. I remember back in my day, it was very difficult to get an amulet. While leveling. I'm missing purple levels. Yeah, me too. I don't know. There's definitely a craving in me. There's there's a world where I want, you know, a more... Uh... You're in trouble now. None of you guys have ranged hits, do you? I don't think they do. I know those leap attacks can send out lots of darts, but I'm not sure entirely whether... Uh... All right, let's take the checkpoint, Joey. This is cool, you know, like the idea of getting checkpoints. This event here, by the way, if you want red Hylic hue, that's the event you want to do for it. Um, it's the rarer of the hue. The other hues you just buy from the heart vendors in the other uh, Hylic places. That one's um, that one's sort of unique. Oh, we hit the warg and he's not going to be able to hit us. Oh, no, that one was there. Crap. All right. All right, let's go again. <laughs> Put on lightning reflexes, you're right, yeah. I keep meaning to do that, yes. An extra dodge a -loo. I should put on guard as well, guys, right? So I can tell the, the, the pet to go. Because guard, guard's gonna um guard's gonna taunt now, right? Oh, what? I was dodge rolling. I can't even blame that on lag. I'm on EU today. That's annoying. I swear I pressed the bind on my keyboard. This was just too late. I left that in after. Or I wasn't smart enough not going there in the first place. Alright, we can get that chest of plants now as well. Get a bit more. I'm actually happy to see all the plants that get spammed in. Alright, let's go again. Let's avoid the wargies. How exactly is this serving zero to hero purposes? It's to level up. We want daily to get AP, to get uh, the Ritz. But daily's put us in awe today, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to explore this south in the end anyway, so I may as well during... Basically, level 20 to 40, yeah. I would say, is the biggest slump of the leveling experience. After you hit 40, there's a lot of events, a lot of places you can go, a lot of things you can do that quickly push you up level-wise. Uh, so we're currently in the slump, right? This is the slump right now. So uh, I may as well get through, the, push myself through the slump by getting all this easy experience by unlocking points of interest, vistas, stuff like that as we go. Plus the, the writ of experience and AP at the end. Stream quality is low because for some reason, every time I put it high today, it's going mental. And it went, and when I say going mental, it actually kicked us off of Twitch a second ago. So, so I apologize for that, guys. Ah, oh, Black Hat's in chat, guys. Black Hat is the person who's been responsible for the awesome prizes we've seen in the tournaments. Did you tune into uh, the last one, Black Hat? Yeah, the winner of the tournament actually was in a completely different squad to the one we were originally looking at. All my guys got beaten. Which is kind of sad. Yeah. It wasn't buffering so much as it was just like... Uh... Alright, alright. Where's the first Vista here? Because we're technically in awe now. Closest Vista would be... Not here. For some reason in my mind, I, I've been thinking about myself having to swim across the uh, water, but obviously that's not a necessity. By the way, my first time ever getting to straights, being on top of that cliff, I remember very clearly. It was one of my favorite experiences. From, wow, that warg ran so far away that it blinked back. We're going to drop down this hole and get this. This is probably going to put us in a pit of death. Nope. It's quite pretty, actually, down there. Uh, I know that there's one at Fortunity, so let's try and get there, shall we? Didn't uh, have the time to watch the VOD yet. I'll do that tonight. It's quite a long one. It was a four-hour tournament. The NA one, I'm expecting far less participants. We get less people when we stream NA times and stuff like here, um, which is fine by me. Because, so it will, it, will, it will go a bit quicker. I do think four hours for a single tourney is a bit long for me. It's a bit too much effort in a single day. My throat was raw for the next two days after that. I did the quarter once on level 26. Did you actually get credit? Hey, does oh, does this mean, with the new boon and thingy sharing, does this mean if I manage to tag the mob at a low level and then just spam heals and boons out on people, I can get credit for an event that's going to give a crap ton of experience? See, uh, I think that would be a really interesting idea, but I think everyone else would call, call, cry foul about that. There is a cave with all the ranger pets. All of them. I thought it was just a few of them. Yeah, I know where that cave is. It's the cave with, like, the weird uh, jumping puzzle things for Vista, right? There is a Vista here, right? Isn't it on the, is it on the airship or not? Let's 
just come down here. Oh, what about hero challenges, right? Like, what if I can just shoot the, the guy to land a couple of hits? Does it just not want a hit of zero? Because I'll only be able to hit zero, glancing for zero, glance, zero, glance, zero. Yeah, there is a Vista on the ocean. That's all of them. Now we'll have a real display of the power of your know-how. That's great. That's the other thing, by the way, the combat mode that's actually made my game less good. I used to be able to just quickly turn around and do leap backwards abilities like that. I do it all the time. It's been a long time since I've done that now because it's not possible. Alright, there we go. See, this is why we came here. Excellent. Alright, some spirit shards. Let's go get some pets as well then. Make it not a completely wasted trip. As long as we can actually make it there. I'm going to try and go in the water and hopefully avoid the Risen Meg Megalodon. Do event mobs get over aggro syndrome just like everything else? Turtles don't have ranged attacks, right? I don't think they do. <laughs> Turtles don't have ranged attacks, right? Alright, Drake sort of do, but they're, they're only cone attacks. So I'm okay with them. Alright, caves nearby. Yeah, 2v1 was an intended mechanic of the th of the th if someone's complaining about that again. That's the format, guys, right? Like <clears throat> It's not like for the rest of your life you're going to see wooden potatoes doing 1v1 v1 v1 tournaments. If there's an element of that format that you are not particularly in favor of, that's cool, that's fine. I think it adds something interesting. I think it's a bit of flavor that even if you don't want to compete, you can at least see how that experience goes. Uh, and you know, just move on with your life. And like, you know, after next, after the next tournament, once and it, look at how good all this stuff looks right now. Man, I love how warm this cave is. After that, you know, that's it. It's done. You move on, and we'll uh, we'll be doing another uh, experiment the week after. I'm actually really excited. The more I think about it, the more I want to do it. What pet do we want to go for here, by the way? Should we just get all of them? A bit of a cop out, innit? It's Devourer, Fernhounds. I, I've got to be honest, I never knew that it was every pet in here. I know that on ranges I've played before, I've been like, oh, I can get it in this cave. Okay, cool. I know that that's happened to me, but I, I wasn't aware that it's because every pet was here. Oh my god, it's wooden. I've always watched your YouTube videos. I've never caught your stream, though. Om Kai, I love you. You're so helpful, bro, lol. Wow. Do you want to hook up? Tomorrow, maybe? Outside the schoolyard? Alright, let's come up here. I just want the cats. Well, no, I don't. I, well, yeah, cats later. I saw. No, no, no. It's Heart of Thorns pets that I care about, right? Like, everybody's sort of moved on to them. Uh, fireflies. Oh my god, I never knew there was an entrance to the cave there. I never knew about that. I never knew about that. That's crazy. Quickly. Alright. Um. Oh my god. Yes, yes, the next tournament. The next tournament. For real, guys. Uh, I really want to do the zombie style thing where you have a level 20 guy versus a... Ty or like a, a single level 20 alpha zombie versus loads of level 11 players. Or something like oh, that. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good! Can't even tell you guys how good it would be. There's a pig. I do like pigs. Forage is cool. It's a cool ability. They need to update ex ectoplasm to add all of the new uh, boons on it. Come on, arena it. Don't cop out on me now. Four. There you go. That's a bit of stealth for us when we want it. Good for running around. All right. Anyway, look. We are now certainly not being efficient with the way we're playing. It was questionable whether we were in the first place, and now we're certainly not. As much as I like... Uh, we'll, we'll We'll go for that Vista as well. well. If we get that Vista, then we will, uh, then we'll call it quits there for today. Down straight. You serious, WP? What, 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 what? Could you show on the big map where you find all pets? It's here. It's in Straight to Devastation. All pet cave. Servicing your pet needs today. I always mess this up, however. I always screw up a little. Oh, God. Oh, what's cooking? I feel like if that was an NA, I would have died there because it wouldn't have registered the middle branch hit because of lag, and then I would have hit the bottom. It would have registered a much greater fall, and I would have died. Quickly! Oh my god, stop! 
All right, we're done. Thank you very much for watching. Potatoes for breakfast, uh, for dinner today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will be back tomorrow on Monday for some guild missions. And then should we have a little bit of time after that? Some uh, uh, zero to hero action. Hope you guys all had a good time. Thanks very much to Teapot there for the uh, host. Uh, have a good evening, everybody. Quickly!